All right, YouTube, welcome back. This video is on how to calibrate your temperature probe. So uh, what you wanna do is get a cup of ice, completely full of ice with just a little bit of water in there in between the cubes, so pack as full as you can. That way we know that the water inside is 32 degrees. And um, I have an apex controller and my temperature probe on the apex controller took forever to uh, go down to like 40 degrees. So I'm going to use this uh, JB, uh, what is it? I think it's a JBL temperature probe. I'm going to see what this goes down to and then calibrate it to 32. And then I'll check my other probes off of this one. Well, I'll actually, uh, I'll check the probe itself on the main tank because I have two of these style heaters and then my uh, Apex, I'll just I'll just check with this probe because they're in the same, they're both in the same uh, sump area, so the temperatures should be the same between them. I'm trying to get it really close to the ice. So I'm gonna let it set for a minute and settle down. It should be close to 32 degrees. I, I, I'm pretty sure that it's it's pretty accurate, but if it's a, a degree or two off, then you know, your tank's really not 77, like a desired temperature that you want. It could be 75. That might be a problem with your coral. So mine's dropping down to 32, as you can see. And All right, I wanted to uh, touch base on one other thing. Uh, this is probably gonna be my last video for, except for updates, I'm probably just gonna do videos once a month. Uh, the reason is I really don't have any new things going on with the tank. Um, another reason is YouTube is gonna cut out the funding, which, um, you know, it is what it is. If you don't have a thousand subscribers or like 4,000 minutes viewed minutes uh, then you get your funds cut off from YouTube you know you get paid a little bit when you watch a commercial you're you're giving your reefer a little bit of support on this on his channel so I was getting around you know 40 or 50 bucks a month uh, that was paying you know it was buying a, a few old things it's not much but the problem is it takes a while the, the real problem is it's not really YouTube it's a uh, People watch the videos. I only have like 600 subscribers, and I've been trying to build this channel for five years. That's that's the main thing. People just don't want to hit subscribe. They just want to watch your videos, and they really don't care otherwise. And uh, you know, if I would have had more subscribers, I could have stayed, um, keep it up and going. It just takes time, you know. Put out these videos. People just watch them, and they don't really uh, support the channel. So. I'll just go to monthly updates. The subscribers that I have, you know, thanks. I know you guys have been there for a long time because, it, like I said, it took five years just to get you guys. So I appreciate that. And uh, so I'll just do, like, monthly updates. I'm not going to do uh, all these, like, videos that I put out. It just takes too much time. I have a full-time job. It's, it's not my job. You know, I'm not getting anything out of it, so... All right, so my this heater is uh, pretty much on the money, and I'm going to say that that um, temperature probe is working perfectly. You know, it's putting the heater on, but I also uh, started started doing this when the tank was 76, so the heater is on already. So I'm going to take that out. I'm satisfied. It's uh, it's reading the correct temperature, and uh, you know, once let me put this back where it was. I always put my temperature probe, uh, or not the probe, but the, yeah, the, the probe, the sensor, um, upstream of the heater. So, like when the heater comes on in my sump, the water is flowing towards the two pumps, so away from the thing that's 
sensing the temperature because you don't want to have it too close to your, your heater, of course, and it'll give you a false reading. All right. Uh, that's Dilo. Next time you guys see it, it's going to really be big because in the last month it's really taken off. It, it just loves my tank. Um, mushroom rock, it kind of, it pretty much died off. This, the tank, uh, the parameters are too clean, per se, for mushrooms. Nitrates are too low. Phosphates are too low. They're, they're where they're supposed to be, but they're for, they're close to, you know, like an SBS type water quality. Um, it's not really, this tank's really not running um, to support mushrooms and a lot of your green star polyps and the stuff that you know tends to like per se dirtier water or water that has more organics in there so um, next time you see the tank you know I'll have some SPS in there I'll have some maybe not any more zoas for a little bit unless I find some good exotic ones I'm gonna get more acans and some more um, SPS so I'll see you guys in about a month and uh, take care